Well, hi, this is Jay Arthur, author of Lean Six Sigma Demystified, Lean Six Sigma for Hospitals, and the QI Macros. And I want to talk to you about a pattern I, I noticed out there in the world, right? So I talk to people all the time, you know, they're doing Six Sigma stuff. And one of the, the common threads that I hear is, well, we made this improvement and then it went away. What? And so then I start to ask them, I say, well, you know, did you go in and change your procedures uh, to reflect the new way of doing business? Did you change your training? You know, did you put in a control chart or two to monitor the process? Uh, and did you put in corrective action? So if it starts to drift in one direction or another, you know what to do to, to come back into, into performance and, and histograms and prayer charts if you need them. And they go, well, uh, kind of, eh, you know, we dropped the ball in that part. Somehow teams think that because they work together to make an improvement, everybody understands what the new process is. And it's all in their head, right? Now, if you don't get it out of your head, you've got a problem, <laughs> all right? Because if you work in like healthcare where they have two shifts a day and then weekends and all these other people and people are coming and going and people leave and take new jobs and, and pretty soon, in about six months, it goes away. So what I'd like to suggest to you is if you are unwilling, after you've done the analyze and improve phase of DMAIC, if you are unwilling to do the control phase, if you are unwilling to change the procedures, the standard work, if you are unwilling to go in and change the training, that, that new people take to learn this job. If you are unwilling to put in a control system of control chart, at least one control chart, all right, and keep that thing up to date and monitor it and have corrective action so that when it starts drifting out of, out of control or starts to decline, you have some way of correcting it and coming back to that level of performance that you've achieved. If you are unwilling to do this, don't bother doing the improvement to begin with. Now, why do I say that? It's, it's just simply this, okay? Uh, if you go in and do it and it falls back to nothing, then all of that effort was wasted. So that's waste, that's bad, all right? And then other people will say, well, see that Six Sigma stuff, it doesn't work. You know, they make improvements, but it doesn't stay. Well, whose fault is that? It's ours, because we didn't do the C step, all right? So if you're, if you're willing to do the analyze and improve, promise me that you'll go out and do the control step, which is making sure that that new improvement stays. And if you don't do that, don't do improvement. It's a waste of time. I'm Jay Arthur. See you in the next video.